Hey guys, a few months back I made a video in which I used a UV template to create foam patterns for the ebony helmet from Skyrim. I want to show you how I did it because I think it's an incredibly useful skill in the toolbox of any cosplayer. You can use it for foam or clothing patterns, but in some cases there are better methods. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to use Blender. If that's a skill you don't have, I've included a link in the description to a video series I watched that made me totally confident with 3D modeling in Blender. You only really need to watch parts 2, 3, and 4, which takes less than an hour and a half. In this video, I'll show you how I made the patterns for the chest plate piece of the ebony armor. If you're making your own models, I do have some advice. First of all, have a plan for how best to assemble the foam pieces before you start modeling. Secondly, use reference images. Here, I'd already made the armor out of foam, and I saw that the shape of the chest plate would be easy to model and that I'd get it most accurate if I designed it using this technique. So I took a photo of the armor to guide me creating the shape of the chest plate. Thirdly, do not create solid models with volume. That would be a massive overcomplication of the process unless you're making a fully enclosed object like a ball. And finally, if the part you're designing is symmetrical, make templates for half of it. There's a mirror modifier in Blender you can use to have a peek at the full symmetrical model if you need to, but you don't need both sides of the model to make patterns for the whole thing. Okay, let's get into it. Once you have a model, it's fairly straightforward. You'll need to select the object and enter edit mode and edge select mode. Select the edges where the joins will be. Right click, mark seams. If you accidentally mark the wrong edges, select the incorrect edges, right click, clear seams. Select everything. Now go UV, unwrap. Go to the UV editing layout tab to see the template. If you can't see anything in the UV window, just select the object. Arrange the pieces so there's sufficient space between everything, including the edge of the page. You can watch part six of the Blender tutorial series to learn more about UV editing, but I'll just explain one thing here. Some controls work the same in the UV window as in the 3D viewport, which means you can easily select geometry separated by seams by hovering over them and pressing L, and then hit G to move or R to rotate. You can move and rotate these objects however you want, but don't scale them and make sure they're not overlapping. Now select all, Go UV, export UV layout. Make sure you save the template as an SVG as this will make it easier to finalize. This isn't a tutorial on how to use Inkscape either, but believe me, you probably don't even need a tutorial. It's incredibly easy to use and like Blender, it's free. So in Inkscape, open the template SVG you just created. All the mesh polygons will be individual objects, so you'll want to combine them into whole pieces. The easiest way to do this is to select everything and go path, union, and then path, break apart. To make this square into an A4 page, go to the page editing tool and select the page. In the preset menu, choose A4. If your template is too big for one page, click the plus icon to add a new page. Now you can arrange these however you want. If you need to scale them, you absolutely must scale everything at the same time and uniformly, which can be done by holding the control or command key while scaling. Don't worry too much about the exact scale yet, but try to get it as close as you can to what you need. One final edit. Go to fill and stroke, remove fill, add stroke, default color should be black, and I'm going to increase the width of that stroke to one millimeter. Now all you need to do is save as a PDF. Print the PDF and make your paper prototype before committing to the chosen scale, but if it's not quite right, you just need to go back into Inkscape to scale it again, then re-export and reprint. And that's how to make foam patterns using UV Unwrap in Blender. Thanks for watching.